Throughout my years of working at Alicab, I've had the privilege of meeting and working with some pretty exceptional people. And most of them I've met through the internet. The Alicab community goes far and wide. And this specific video is about five internet friends who finally got to meet up in person to go on an overlanding trip together. After a very busy day of packing and prepping, we are finally on our way and we can't wait to hit the dirt roads. <laughs> the battle of the cell phones. <laughs> are pulling into Kahakama. Today has been a busy day. We've been shopping and packing and getting the, all the vehicles ready but we are now here with our friends Mariana and Andy from Expedition Rove all the way from the UK. They ship their vehicle Tango over to South Africa and they will be traveling Africa basically for the next year or so. So they, they are here and then also Adrian from Rome Overlanding. So we've got a pretty good crew going. Simon and I are in the kayak camper. Uh, so we've left the Germany behind, we've left the Robosmobile behind, the Fortuner for this trip. We're kicking it in style with the kayak camper and I'll do a full rundown um, over the course of the next five days. I'll also show you Mariana and Andy's vehicle. They have the Icarus roof conversion on there um, and they've built out the inside to be really, really cool in their Defender. And then obviously Adrian from Rome has the new Gen 3R with the rooftop tent backrest and the drop down table and our shadow awning. So his Hilux is also looking pretty good at the moment. We are pulling in just in time for sunset. We're staying at a semi wild camping spot here at Kahakama and we'll be spending the next two days here so we'll have plenty of time to explore and just to relax and ease into the next five days. <laughs> okay so we're slowing down a bit. Marianne and Andy are coming Sorry. in the Defender. Um, they're also flying their drone at the moment so yeah. Anyway we'll probably pull into camp within the next few minutes. As we arrived at the Klipspringer camp, the excitement was high to set up camp and to light the campfire. But first, we couldn't wait for a mini house tour of Tango, arguably one of the coolest defenders with the most impressive interior builds I've seen. But we'll go into more detail later in the trip. Oh, the fridge is in here. Yeah, that's like pantry stuff. I was not playing this game today. I woke up to the sound of Simon, Andy and Adrian chatting away, enjoying the crisp morning air and their coffee. The weather predicted rain for the day, but it was a beautiful clear morning. Our plans for the day included going for a short hike in search of ancient rock paintings. 
It was the first time Mary Hannah and Andy saw South African rock paintings and it was pretty cool to share the experience with them. These breathing exercises and they go into trances and they paint this. So like neat and straight lines, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and like you'll see okay, so like some of it with Tuesday or something. Afterwards, we took a dip in Kahakama's impressive swimming pool and then headed back to camp to get started on one of Simon's classic chicken poikis. Is nice. Life is good. That is so beautiful. Like Twenty thousand years, right? Like it's all like they descended, and they were just like. like uh, I won't. I won't. Say. The next morning, Adrian was on breakfast duty, and he did not disappoint. He had to use the air fryer, of course. After that, it was time to pack up and head off to our next location. We have just packed up and now we are all heading out of Kahakama. It's been a really nice two days here. But today we are heading off on an epic drive through Yeselbank, which is the most isolated town in South Africa, Wuppertal, and then heading through the Bido Valley where we'll be wild camping. So yeah, looking forward to that. The truth about these trips is that we stop a lot to get content. So <laughs> this is the first stop of the day. Mariana's drone is in the air. Adrian is at the front waiting for us to film a drive by. Right, ready when you are, man. Simon is taking photos on his camera. Mariana's driving Tango. Andy is driving Adrian's Hilux. And of course I'm driving the Kaya. Here we go for the content. <laughs> now we gotta hear whether we've actually gotten the shot. If not, we go back and do it again. <laughs> Did you get the shots? Yep. So we good so. to go? Yes, we are. It is very cold outside actually. It is cold. Quick stop at a farm stall to get some coffee and then we're heading off again. Andy and Adrian are clearing out their air filters. <laughs> 
It's a little bit dusty at the back, so Simon and I are going to give them a chance to drive ahead of us. But actually, I am going to get into the vehicle with Mary Hannah now, so I'm going to have a go at driving in Tango. Maybe later I'll have a go at actually steering Tango. I've only driven a Defender once, so it should be interesting. But yeah, keen to be Mary Hannah's co-pilot for a little bit. Here we go. Girls trip. Country music on. Yeah, I'm gonna just change change up the song real quick. Get a little bit of driving music on. Hard like a truck. <laughs> True. Very nice. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Girls trip. Woo! <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> We're woo girls. Yeah, we are woo girls. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, my time has come. We're doing a switcheroo because these defender doors. <laughs> All right. To get in the car. Great start. <laughs> Mariana's gonna fly the drone now, so pilot time for me. Look at all these buttons. It is just something else. Ready? Okay, here we go. A defender looks good on you. You think? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna take some time getting used to it. Yeah. yeah. Although it is cruising nicely now. I think I broke the ice with all the stalling. <laughs> After making our way to and through Eselbank, we stopped just outside of the little town to grab something to eat, enjoy these views and to go for a dip in the water pool down below. Doesn't do it justice. Uh, yeah, this, is, this would be a really nice uh, picture After a quick tour through the small town of Uppertal, and with the day starting to slip away, we started to make our way to camp for the night. We have made it to Mirkral in the Bido Valley and we're camping on a farm that we camped on way back when we shot the lifestyle video for the Thor roof conversion so you might remember that video of Simon and I chilling in the river it was a really good time so we had to bring Marianne and Andy and Adrian here and um, behind me 
it's just a little bit chaos at the moment luckily Simon found his place to park now and Andy found his eventually but Adrian is still trying to find the perfect position for him to set up camp but this has been going on like finding the perfect spot for at least 10 to 15 minutes <laughs> and it's been really funny but anyway it's super nice and warm out it's like 26 degrees so much warmer than last night so yeah really nice temperature we're just going to chill around the fire tonight Mary Hannah is making us Texas chili con con chili con con is one of my favorite meals so I am super super excited tomorrow we head on onwards to a familiar place <laughs> where I've been before in my videos it's in the Tanqua so it's not a far drive from here so we'll probably only leave late morning and take it super chilled so yes let's hope the guys have now settled on where their vehicles are parked Hello. Are you happy with your spot now? Hmm? <laughs> Are you happy with our spot? I didn't have a say in anything here, so <laughs> I am happy. I think the, the feng shui that's of the campsite nice. is nice. Yes. <laughs> I'm not all Yeah, the only difference is we do this to keep the house warm. You're so red on the camera, Andy. It's almost ridiculous. <laughs> well, almost, though. Not quite, eh? <laughs> Food. I'll have a brownie. And then we're like, I mean, even way worse. You should just rather yeah. smoke. Yeah, when I'm like, you need Yeah, this is awesome. Ah, pretty excellent. <laughs> Just another beautiful day in paradise here yeah, in Chateau Rome. Chateau Rome. I like that. I used to live in a bush palace, but now <laughs> the chateau. Rome wasn't built in a day. Wasn't. Now there was Rome. <laughs> yes. Content. Okay, we have packed up at Mirkral. We are now on our way to the Tankwa, to the Tankwa tented camp. We're traveling through the Bido Valley still, and it's just beautiful scenery all around. So having a really good time. It's now quarter to 11. We should be there just after 12. So we'll have the whole day just to relax at the Tankwa tented camp. And we'll probably do some walkthroughs of all of the vehicles today. So should be fun. Stretches about two, 250, 250 kilometers from south to north. Um, so, yeah. Right. 
So we've just arrived at Tankwa Tented Camp. We went for a little drink at the bar and now we are going to set up camp. People are quite happy. <laughs> Actually, Simon just said, what did Andy tell you at the bar? Oh, he was just standing there and ordering the another drink. In. He was ordering another drink and he was like, I'm so happy. I feel like I want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just been really awesome because obviously Mary Hannah and Andy are seeing all of this for the first time and it's so cool to know that they're actually enjoying this trip that we've yeah. put together for them ah uh, yeah it's been a really good trip so yeah, far it's been awesome time to set up camp and then we are going to make some buddha voice rolls and tonight mariana is going to make the chili con con because you. last night we got to camp too late and um we just ended up frying some random meats <laughs> and um having a little bit of a tapas fest so that was really nice as well but now tonight it's time for Texan chili yeah can't wait really keen <laughs> duckboard that attaches to the back door so you can either use it for your shower cube to stand on when you're showering or it's just a good place to wipe your feet off before you get into the kaya it's a little bit messy inside there now because all of our stuff is in there our chairs and our, it's not that messy actually our chairs and our bry grid and spring bowls which are going up now as well sleeper so basically inside of here there's a lot of pillows and a board that you can put in here between these two and basically create a bed so two people can sleep down below put your feet in there and then at the top the bed pulls down or you can keep your bedding inside we have a duvet and four pillows in there right now Yep, and it has a little another thingy that pulls down here, so it just extends the bed, or you can climb out of bed and your partner can still be sleeping. Here we have more storage, more storage this side, two ammo boxes underneath here, and over here is the fridge. This locks up there, and you have your fridge access those are or oh, this is the control for the diesel heater and the warm air comes through here which we would definitely not be needing today because it is quite warm and that is that basic oh you have a little here's the little tap and wash basin and then you can open this little thingy right here for outside access to the kitchen or a little pass through so the nice thing about the kaya as well is that you can just stand up inside and get dressed or get changed you have room to move around in the back of your truck which is amazing <laughs> this is just ridiculous oh so we are doing Budavosh on adrian's weaver 
and some in the air fryer, right? We'll be air frying. It's a it's a competition. We'll see which tastes better. What is the secret of the air fryer? Patience. Okay. Good the secret of the Weber is more patience. <laughs> oh, look at that. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> This is what you call a frimple. Oh no. Oh, Mariana's first Budavos roll. Budavos. Here we go. They talked me through it. I'm gonna go for the fat boy. Oh no, put that stuff in first. Sauce first. Is this, just, is this tomato? It's a relish. Is it so like it is. Specifically for this, it's just like sweet chili. We were born to do with it. And a lot of sugar. Jalapenos. 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 So all of the alley cap tents are super dark inside because of the canvas and it's so nice. I just took a little power nap. And now I'm gonna meet the guys at the bar. <laughs> the boys are very excited about the bar tonight after being isolated and camping and all of that. So we are going to be making the chili at the braai area there as well. The reason we are making the chili at the bar area is because it's very windy at the moment. We're hoping that it'll die down after sunset, but it might just be easier to start the chili over there. The reason I'm talking very softly is because I think Mariana also had a nap and I don't know whether she's awake yet, so let's see. Another thing that's nice about the Kaya is that you can close the door with these <laughs> canvas doors basically instead of closing the whole container door and you can also keep the mozzie netting closed so you can keep light coming inside and you can keep the bugs out so that's really nifty and when you don't use it you can just roll it up and tie it with this What is going on here? Oh. This is all going to get simmered down, but usually you would start with the onions and peppers and simmer that down in the garlic, and then you'd put the meat in, and then you'd put the tomatoes in, then the beans, which I just realized we forgot at the car. Oh, we'll just oh, take no. another walk. We'll just take a stroll. You get the Mexican spices on top, so you've got like cilantro, cheese, Ooh, sour yeah. cream, avocado, and lime. It's to amazing it how close we are to, uh, with our This is damn water. close like, to what we I'm do. I'm very proud of the way we make chili because yeah. it's... So we celebrated last night and now we are on our way to the Hanaha Lodge. I haven't yeah. been there before. Simon kept saying we need to go like but we just haven't gotten around to it. So I'm excited. We're going on a, the Hanaha Pass yeah. and then we'll yeah stop there for a bit and then carry on to where we're camping tonight. We're camping at Amansdam. 
because I haven't been before. It's like there's only one campsite on the farm um, and it looks pretty epic. So excited for the last night. It's been a nice trip so far. It's been yeah, epic. It's been awesome. And I need to get out and open a gate now. So goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> It's honestly so nice today. It's like not too hot, not too cold, sprinkled with a little bit of nothingness. <laughs> Going up the Hanaha Pass, the views were absolutely spectacular. <laughs> Adrian, you can take in the front seeing that you've got the GPS going um, and we'll drive in the back. Um. Within the captivating sacred silence of that site, we await the humming sounds of new initiatives. A quick tour of elusive2021.eu We have arrived at Ayman's Dam. This camp is pretty epic. It's like a little fenced circle basically. And then there's a little shelter, shade here with a table and a little fire pit. It's really nice. We ordered some pre-made braai packs from Neti, uh, the owner of Ayman's Dam. Uh, so we have some Kerua lamb for tonight and also Roosterkoek and freshly made apricot jam that she gave us so really excited for that i think it's going to be a very nice and warm evening so yeah we're just gonna try and squeeze all three vehicles in here and then start setting up camp for the night Right? Like it's quite nice. It is nice. Simon and I have sat in there and like played Uno and like just chilled and yeah. had dinner and it's nice I when you put like the little table up. Online it doesn't do it justice. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you wouldn't hang out in here every single day, but if it was poor weather, this is pretty perfect. Exactly. Especially with the diesel eater. Mm. <laughs> it makes it so hot. <laughs> so nice. But you can adjust the It's cool that that's already climate. plumbed in and like ready yeah. for it and the sink. It, does this come out? That's quite cool. Oh, yes. Big fan. <laughs> <laughs> Tango. <laughs> so we've got, I mean, it's, 
is relatively simple as much as you can have in such a small space but obviously have the Icarus and then we've got a fridge here and because we have the Icarus we can actually stand up so we've got like oh, so <laughs> we've got like Stop kitchen fun. sink in there don't mind the dirty cloth and then this is like for cooking we have induction so if we were you know like whipping up food or whatever but it's nice because if we're doing dishes and we've got like an epic view yeah. So wherever we go. And I love this like <laughs> pass through over here. Yeah. So you can it's have like an ice cream over. window. Exactly. You know, like oh, Do you have ice come cream there? Kids, what would you like? <laughs> yeah. And it's cute, cozy. So you get home. And so you just touch the home. Russell. Driving around as you. So Adrian, this was your first trip in the Gen 3R with the new setup and all of the accessories. How has it been? The new setup with the Gen 3R and the 270 and everything has been actually pretty damn perfect. Um, especially when it comes to the accessories in the 3R. It's exactly what I was hoping it would be. Having the tilt up backrest, the drop down table. We had a, a, a nice little morning where it was a bit drizzly and a bit rainy. And you know, just be able to kick back and relax and work on my photos a little bit and do my stuff up there. It was really, really nice. Um, there's some features I still haven't gotten to use yet or play around with so I feel like my next travels over the next 30 odd days it's going to be really fun getting to learn the way the alley cab system works and it was really nice having all you know the experienced people around here over the past couple days uh, just to kind of show me the ropes and teach me about all the products and things like that and that's been really really awesome awesome happy travels thank you <laughs> I'm closing time. <laughs> it should be playing right now. We have now packed up at Amon's Dam, had a lovely breakfast of leftover chili and scrambled eggs and rooster cook. And yeah, it's quite sad. Now we're hitting the road to the Tankwa Patstal and then from there we'll just head back to Cape Town and go our separate ways. Ah, oh, it was lovely. It was so good. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed coming along with us to all of these new places. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. And so my friends, this journey comes to an end in more ways than one. This will in fact be my last Yana from Alicab vlog. There's a video on the Yana from Alicab Instagram page that explains why I am leaving Alicab and the Yana from Alicab life in a bit more detail. But in short, I am taking some time to focus on just being Yana. I want to thank my Alicab family for the opportunity to represent the brand while telling my adventure stories. I've had the time of my life. And if you've been watching my videos and following along from the start, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's been real, but for now, it's goodbye from Yona from Alicab. And so it comes to an end. No, we don't want to go. <laughs> I will see you again. Yeah, 100%. In like five days. <laughs> In like five days, literally. <laughs> see you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Say goodbye to the YouTube people.
Order on the website. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay.